What is up guys? Handsome Luke here. So I realise it's been a little while since I made a video. That is because I've been busy doing other stuff and because I haven't really felt like making a video. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a message on Instagram the other day asking why I hadn't made a video for a while. And I just replied saying I've been not in the mood. So, you know, like many things in my life, I will only do them if I want to or if I have the... Um, have something that I want to get off my chest or if I have something that I particularly am passionate about or if I just feel in the mood to make a video. So today I thought I'd make a video because I'm in the mood, yeah? So you may have noticed on my Instagram I posted a couple of photos, I believe, um, taken on my holiday which I took in Cornwall which is a lovely part of the UK, um, England, south west coast so it's lovely, like if you have a chance to go to Cornwall, I highly recommend it because it is beautiful, very pretty, the light is amazing, it's very um, picturesque there, the scenery is lovely, it's got like a, a rolling landscape with lots of meadows and farmland and um, animals, it's got all sorts of stuff there but it's also got a lot of history, a lot of culture you may or may not know that it is um, somewhat different from the rest of, of the UK um, in that it had its own language, Cornish, um, and <clears throat> it's also got sort of different heritage, like the people, the indigenous peoples of Cornwall were um, sort of ethnically um, different from the rest of the people in the UK. So there's a lot of history, a lot of interesting stuff going on. There was also the coal mines down there earlier, um, you know, last century, sort of in the 80s, up to the 80s, it was going back many a year, but Margaret Thatcher put an end to all that because she was a maniac. So there's tons of stuff to enjoy down there. The food was the main thing that I enjoyed down there, of course. Um, and because I was on holiday, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna eat whatever I want because who cares, like, I'm on holiday and I will have fun. So the things that you may have heard about Cornwall um, the foods that you may have heard that are related to Cornwall are not the healthiest of foods. They include, but are not limited to, the Cornish pasty, um, clotted cream. Uh, you can get cl uh, Cornish cream tea, which is a pot of tea with some clotted cream and jam and scones. And it's the best combination you could possibly imagine. Like, you'd be drinking a cup of tea with a little scone there. Um, and you could have some clotted cream and some jam. And the, the thing is with clotted cream and jam, you would think um, from from the, your experience of having maybe toast with, uh, with jam, that you may want to put the jam on last. This is not the case with uh, scones, right? What you want to do is you want to put on the jam first on the scone and then put on the clotted cream afterwards. And you can just layer it on hardcore, like it is awesome. The more you put on, arguably, the better it is. So that was enjoyable. There, I think I definitely posted a photo on, of myself about to tuck into a nice <clears throat> scone uh, on Instagram. So you'll see what I'm talking about with that. Um, and then what else did we have? Ales, I had a lot of Cornish ales when I was there, which are delicioso. Um, and it's, yeah, it's got like tons of good drinks down there. <clears throat> also had some wine down there. Um, not Cornish wine, but sort of uh, various different wines. Um, <clears throat> what else did I have? There's there's like tons of foods down there and it's all awesome, it's all amazing. Like I had a cheeky burger down there and it's like burgers are everywhere, right? They don't come, well, they probably come from somewhere, but whatever. <clears throat> I had a, had a, a you know, a burger down there and that was awesome. I had fish and chips down there because it's on the coast, right? So the fish and chips there is amazing. Like it's obviously freshly caught, they bring it in and then batter it hardcore, right? So there's tons of stuff to enjoy down there. There's a lot of history, like I said. So we went to the coast. Um, and it's got some sort of hangovers from World War Two. You've got massive like gun batteries and pillboxes and stuff down there um, that you can you can explore. And castles from, from sort of medieval times. So went to um, St Michael's Mount. So that was really cool. Like went up there and there's like tons of um, gardens gardens around there, like a, a walled garden. <clears throat> Something's happening to my voice. I'm not sure what it is. I've just got back from the gym, having done an excessively um, epic shoulder session. Um, so my voice may be recovering from that because I make all sorts of noises when I'm, I'm doing exercise at the gym. But you'll have to bear with me. I do apologise for my voice um, being a bit croaky, but there we go. Um, 
so yeah, and then we got when we got back from Cornwall, we got a new car, or our new car was delivered. Um, so that was good as well, because my old car failed its MOT hardcore, so I couldn't I couldn't really um, justify fixing it because it was going to cost an absolute fortune. So I just scrapped it, and uh, we've got a new car now. So that's exciting. Um, we've also got a new bed coming this week. There's tons of stuff happening, to be honest. So I thought I'd just make a video to catch you guys up on what I've been doing. So I, I had a lot of fun in Cornwall. I, I was on the beach a fair amount. So um, you may or may not see some further uploads regarding that sort of stuff on Instagram, on YouTube, whatever. So that's it. I think that's everything. I hope you have enjoyed your time where I've been doing other stuff. But yeah, you take care. Peace.